What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about steel framing. So last video, uh, we learned how to create our joist systems. And I also show you a quick way on tagging your floor plan using the tag all. Okay, if you still remember uh, on our floor plan, like for example, on level 2, we went to the um, annotate tab. And then after that, we use the tag all. Okay, so that's why we are able to tag our uh, floor plan without any difficulty. Now, this time around, so after learning how to uh, add a joist system, so this is a very quick video on how to configure the beam joints. Okay, so if you will be checking out your modify tab on the geometry panel, so there is this tool that is called beam column joints okay so it adjusts how beams and columns frame into one another so by default a, lo a longer beam is cut back from a shorter beam so you use this tool to adjust the cut back for beams and columns with a few exceptions um, columns cut box as beams okay so let us uh, learn how to use this one very very easy so in our case, we're going to use this to modify our beam joint. So let's say we want to create a mitered end or mitered joints for our beam. Okay, so to do that, so what I'm going to do here is on my floor plan, I'm going to create similar using this uh, structural framing. So just click that and then you type CS. Again, CS stands for create similar. So using the line tool. So I'm going to pick here. So make sure the chain here is checked. So we'll be able to create our frame uh, continuously. Okay, so I just need to click that. And then let's click this one. There you go. So after creating our framing, so I'm going back to my 3D view. Okay, and this is where we're going to do the exercise. So as you can see here, so let's say I want to change the join of this two frame here. So I want to create a mitered end. So what I'm going to do is from the modify tab, uh, geometry panel, I'll be selecting the beam join, uh, beam columns joints. All right, so just select that one. So once you select that, you will notice there will going to be here an arrow. You can actually see this as well in your 2D view, but I prefer to see it here on my 3D view. Okay, and then you will also notice that these lines here, the analytical lines here, becomes a half tone color. Okay, you can play around. So if you click this arrow here, it will look like that. Okay, so you can click that. Okay, right? So you can play around. So you can click that arrow just like that. Okay, if you want to have a mitered, so you can click this, and then you will now be able to create a mitered end. So you can lock it. So I'm going to lock that, miter lock, there you go. Okay, so that's now how our ends look like. Okay. All right, so let's try to do this as well here on the other side. So let me zoom in here. Again, I'm going to select um, the beam column joints. Just click that one. And then after that, again, the arrows will be showing for this one. So for this, you just need to select this arrow here. So click that to create a mitered uh, join there. And then after that, you can lock it. So there you have it. So basically, this is how you use your beam joints to create a miter ends for your framing. All right. So select modify to terminate the two. And there you have it. Okay. So that's it for this quick exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.